And now let's watch the crowning of the ultimate winner at the Canadian Kennel Club's 100th anniversary dog show. And the first dog in for Best in Show judge R. William Taylor is the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, Canadian and American champion, Neptune's Molokai Mischief, owned by W. and D. Lachance and handled by John Glover. As you saw earlier, the working group winner was the Akita champion Jags Tug of Samurai, Ah Du Tidu. The owner is Terry Lafleur, and the handler is Kathy Kirk. The herding group judge was Alden Garland, and he chose the Old English Sheepdog, champion Raffles, Queen of the Colony, owned by Tristan and Tony Lett. The Terry group was judged by Mrs. J.H. Danielle Jenkins, and she selected Carrie Blue, American-Canadian champion, Bally Moon's Thin Tango, owned by Anita Norman, Kelly Norman, and Kathy Holmes. The handler is David Gignac. Sheet Zoo is chosen to represent the non-sporting group, and yes, they are in the non-sporting group in Canada. And this is 10-year-old American and Canadian champion Shente's Brandy Alexander, bred and owned by Margaret Brown, and co-owned and handled by Luke Enright. The non-sporting group judge was Megan Nutbeam. The judge for the Hound Group was James Reynolds. The smooth dachshund is Canadian-American champion Bray Haas Traveling Man, owned and bred by Carol and Yuppie Bray. The Pekingese, American champion Wendesa Crown Prince, owned by Ed Jenner of Burlington, Wisconsin, and handled by Luke Malloy, was chosen by toy group judge Leslie Rogers. Crown Prince is the only American-owned dog to make it to the final round. And best in show at the 100th anniversary show, the Canadian Kennel Club, goes to the 10-year-old Shih Tzu, American-Canadian champion, Shinty's Brandy Alexander, owned by Margaret Brown and Luke Enright. Can you believe it, Judy? A 10-year-old toy taking top honors at the largest entry in Canada's dog show history. Toys can be tough. They certainly can.